Thanks to the efforts of Xiao Yuan and Zhang He, the lands of Hanzhong now belong to Cao Cao. However, there were three kingdoms vying for control of the land. By attacking one, you merely left yourself open to be attacked by the other. Sensing an opportunity to strike Cao Cao, Wu moved its army north. At Xu's behest, they advanced their forces to Hefei. The bulk of the Wei forces were concentrated in Hanzhong, leaving their defenses in Hefei thin. Amid the commotion within the camp, Cao Cao stood alone, calm and collected as always. He was determined to defend Hefei by any means necessary and would not give it up without a fight. As the Wu army closed in, his blade stood firm, glistening in the sunlight. The Wei ranks were blessed with the presence of Zhang Liao, and the legend which would be told for generations to come was about to begin. The Wu forces are relentless. We should hold up and await reinforcements. Unless we strike back, the castle will fall. I, for one, am not afraid to give my life for the good of my kingdom. I am Zhang Liao. Who will face me? Hello everyone, Dark Kirby 14 here. Welcome to more Dynasty Warriors 7. So, alright, so I'm doing this at halftime of the Soul game. And they are completely all over them. It's 42 to 14. I did not expect this. I honestly thought this this could be the one where they get us. But that hasn't happened thus far, thankfully. The last thing one have is lose the freaking team of Cleveland! <laughs> Hmm. But anyway, yeah, so that's good. Yeah, say, so, um. Dan Radabaugh has been a, li a wee bit off, but hey, they're getting it done, so it doesn't matter in the end. Yeah, it, it doesn't matter in the end. Yeah, it, it really doesn't matter. They've gotten it down, done in the end. Yeah, they, they've gotten it done. Yeah, they, they, they've gotten it done this far. I, I honestly did not expect that. I thought... Somehow, the Cleveland would be winning, like, a new... But everything's working out just fine. I, yeah, everything's working... Everything's working pretty decently, I guess. Yeah, that, that's gonna be... Yeah, it, it, um... Yeah. Yeah, so that's gonna be, um. Yeah, so that's gonna be. Uh, that's what, um. Yeah, so that, that's what. Um, <clears throat> yeah, so that, that's what, um. Yeah, so that, that, that that's what, of, um. That, that, that's what, um. Yeah, so, um. Yeah, so that, that's what, um. Yeah. Yeah, so that that's it. Um Yeah. Um Yeah, so that's gonna be how it's friggin' Yeah, so anyway, so this is the um actual this is another big battle. This is Hey Fei, other what um, one other thing one I have to call it is a This is a big missed opportunity to really damage Wei for Wei and well mostly for Wu. As Shu did not take part in this battle, but they attacked way at this at the at that at that request. Hmm. Yeah, so essentially they came after Wu. Yeah, so yeah, the event they essentially just came after Wu. 
Yeah, so that that that, that basic that was, yeah. mm, So that that's essentially how that happened. My instructions and victory will be ours. Yeah, so that that, that that's that's just one of the basics of how that went down. Yeah, so that's gonna be astounding. Yeah, that, that's just that that's just one way of how it went down. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so that, that's gonna be gonna be an interesting point. Yeah, so that's gonna be freaking. This is that 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 that'll be the how we get that point down. But anyway, so yeah, this is a huge missed opportunity for Wu. Because they re they really could have made things interesting for Wei. Well, actually pretty devastating for them. Cause this would have been this this probably would have been the straw that broke the camel's back for him. Yeah, this will be Yeah, that that this was the straw that broke the camel's back. Or it could have been. They did, that that could have been it for them right there. Every victory yeah, that that, that could have been largely it for them. If anything, if anything big had happened right here, this is, this is the point for it to happen. But yeah, this, this was the um, yeah. Okay, so yeah, so the uh, All right, so now this is the second part. Um, keep you wondering why. Yeah, so I had to cut, I cut out the loading part. So yeah, I kind of just like, and I shall be the one to yeah, I cut out that part. Route. Loading part got and cut out. Yeah, that that that's how that's gonna happen. To our Lord. Okay, so the yeah, like I said before, so this is part two. So this is essentially you trying to chase down um um what you call it? um Sun Chuan. One or whatever you want to call it, it really doesn't matter. Yeah. Right, come on, yeah, I'm gonna freaking chase you down. And that's what you get. You get kicked around. Yeah, that's kind of what you get. It's kind of what you deserve, personally. Yeah, you got what you deserve there. Yeah, you kind of got what you had coming there. I don't feel sorry for you at all. Well, why should I? Why should I feel sorry for you at all? This is just what you got coming. Anyway, so yeah, so the, and as I was saying before, this was a this is a really this was a chance they really could have brought a lot of damage to Wei, but they then Zhang Liao's beast mode happened. And just like, he just wrecked everything Wu wanted to do. And in reality, in another, another opportunity like this never really came again. Yeah, Wu never got an op another opportunity. He never got anywhere close. They never got even close. They never even got close to this ever again. This, this was their, this was their opportunity to basically, basically wreck Sal Sal's life. And they missed it. They they blew it every which way. This was their opportunity to take South that soon South South down really badly. And they missed it. Anyway, so I like Yeah, so that's kind of a just an unfortunate circumstance, but um Yeah, so <laughs> that was a missed opportunity. There are a lot both sides really had a um yeah. There are a lot of ways that, um, yeah. So that, that's kind of, um, yeah. Yeah, that's kind of what, um, yeah, that, that's freaking, um, on, what, what, um, yeah, so they, and, and really, the one of the big, big points of the Three Kingdoms era was there were a lot of missed opportunities. It wasn't just on Wayside, there was Wu, Shu, they had missed opportunities. Hey Chung Pu, you're gonna be a playable in that team. Let's see. I like his look. If they do bring back uh, Liahua, 
playable, which I hope they do. Which I hope they do. I hope they kind of do it the same thing, but they kind of give him that elder look. Yeah, that, that's kind of what um what I'm hoping they do. Yeah. Yeah. So that's gonna be kind of what um yeah that that that, that would be freaking. So that that's gonna be um yeah. So that that's gonna be um yeah. So yeah, that, that that's gonna be um yeah. So that that's gonna be yeah. That, that'll be um yeah yeah. Yeah. So that, that's gonna be um yeah. So that 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 um yeah. So that's gonna be freaking. Is dire. Yeah, that's going to be kind of... I hope I hope he's playable sometime down the road, but that would be really cool. Yeah. Thank you for us. Yeah, so that, that, that's what I want to... Um, yeah, so that's going to be one of the things that I hope they do with him one day. Is they make him playable. Yeah, that, that's what I... Um, yeah. Yeah, so that, 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 that's going to... Um, Yeah. Wait. It was playable. Apparently, an umpire. Father, the has yeah, the enemy has nowhere to run. Or is he just like a gen generic guy? I don't know why I think he was. Yes, yeah, so that's gonna be free. Forgive me. Yeah, I hope he's playable. That'd be sweet. Yeah, that that would be something like really cool if he was. Yeah, so that'll be the that'll be um yeah that that'll be freaking. Yeah, so that that um. Yeah, so that free um. Yeah, that that's just one of the things that I hope that um. Yeah, that, that's one of the things like. Like he, he's like uh my he's one I really wanna see. Like he'd be the I think the um one character I think everyone wants to be playable at some point down the line. Yeah. Yeah, so that that's what um Yeah, so that that that's what um Yeah, so that that's what um Yeah, that 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 that'd be one. I think everyone wants to see. Yeah, he, he's like the one character I think everyone wants to see playable down the road. Like, that would be... That would be one that I think everyone wants to see be being playable down the road. That would, that would be a good one to have. Oh, yeah, Drew Wrong came back as playable. That's cool. Yeah, but I think he needs to come back, come be playable because Lia Hua, I think, would represent something like Really interesting. Yeah, I think he would he would like really represent an interesting character. Cause he was significant. Not only that, he's a former yellow turban. Yeah. Yeah, that's gonna be um. Yeah. Yeah, that that, that would be, be one really significant character. I think that would really be benefit um to be playable. Yeah, he he'd be one real significant, I think. Yeah, you need to come over here. Oh, I will freaking murder your face, Ticey G. Ticey G actually dies in this battle, like real, like real legit. He dies here. Well, I think he dies after. But all I know is that Hefe is his last battle. Yeah, Hefe is his last battle. His last significant battle, I believe. If I remember that correctly, yeah, that that was like his last significant battle. I believe the battle is gonna end here. Yep, ends here.
Lord. They will be back. When they return, we will repel them again. You are a man of true determination. My Lord's vision of the future is resolute and unwavering. Therefore, I too must be unwavering. <laughs>